hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovelies so today i will be using the osset egyptian oracle cards and i will be using these cards for your daily reading today guys i will also give you some small information about this deck and i will also do a ritual to kind of like thank the spirits the guides who are present with us to kind of like help us to do the reading i mean help us to also connect with them even more guys okay actually i don't record all of this and show you i usually perform a ritual before i start the reading so i just thought why don't i share this with you guys okay so if you don't want to watch this uh, ritual part you can skip directly to the reading the timestamps are in the description box below guys and also i have pinned it in the comments so you can go to the timestamps and you can skip the reading i mean skip this part of me doing the ritual so now i will start uh, by just uh, making you all connect with the deck more so if you want to connect with the Osset Egyptian Oracle cards more, you can perform this whatever I'm doing and I will also be describing about this deck. Okay. So Goddess Osset is also called as a Goddess Isis. I think the Isis, the name Isis, you would have heard more than the name Osset. And she is an Egyptian goddess. The Osset Temple is located in the River Nile, I mean on the banks of the River Nile, and it is famous for its prophecy readings. Usually they do the readings by scarring, that is gazing into the crystal bowl of water, that is using hieroglyphic symbols written on papyrus leaves. Okay, so this is how the Egyptian usually do the prophecy readings okay and this is all about the goddess Osset or the goddess isis if you want to know more about this ritual please make sure to comment down below and let me know guys because if you want to know then i will give you more information because it is really interesting to know about all the goddess and all the cards well before you start the reading right and now if you want to do the reading or if you if you want a similar experiences like they used to do in the egyptian temple egyptian osset temple i will be doing a similar kind of reading today guys i won't be using the crystal bowl or the crystal ball you can also use a crystal ball if you don't own a crystal bowl or any bowl will do the work okay so what i have to do first is that i need to kind of like clear out the thoughts that i have in my mind and kind of like start with praying to the goddess osset or you can pray to any other egyptian divinity as your preference and who you want to connect with and ask their protection and guidance and to receive their wisdom so let us pray now i'll just pray now and then i will again kind of like start the reading for you all guys and today i will be using the just a glass bowl of water with the deck okay so now has um, in the book in the guidebook it was written that first to handle the cards we need to take some lemongrass or some essential oil in our hands it can also we can also use frankincense but i took some lemongrass uh, essential oil in my hands i'll kind of like rub it I'll rub my hands with it and I will kind of shuffle the cards now for you all guys okay okay so my hands all like it has a very good smell the lemongrass essential oil so now I'm just shuffling the cards now not thinking about anything just keeping my mind blank and just letting in a golden light into my hands like i'll just imagine a light kind of coming into the cards the blessings from the goddess osset or isis and let her wisdom kind of shine in this reading 
okay so now has we've got all the things that we need to do the reading the ritual is done here guys so now i will be starting the reading and guys if you want uh, these kind of readings make sure to comment down below and let me know because every time i start the reading i will do i will perform certain rituals and then start the reading okay so yes i will be also like i'll be also looking into this and i will be giving a reading for you all guys one card for your general energies and one card for your love energies guys okay so let us start the reading um my lovelies so this is going to be your daily reading my lovelies sagittarius let us see what is coming up for your general energies and for your love energies Sagittarius for your general energies we have the Amunra Amunra for your love energies we have the Imhotep temple healing Imhotep and Amunra Amunra so what I'm getting here for you guys for your general energies is that just be concerned about yourself leave out on the people who you feel you need to leave out on and stay with the people who you feel guided to stay Sagittarius okay so what I can also see here let us just get the messages that Amunra has for you guys okay so i am a creation god so with my mighty white power i can change and transform the situation you worry about in an instant ask me to transform you into a person of power first still your mind with meditation and then ask and visualize me creating the miracle for you true miracles occur by divine intervention so be patient for the outcome as we created for you yes today some call the me hamid angel of miracles as being so ancient i have many names so this is what you have to do i can see here that you have a lot of dreams a lot of goals and for all of your goals and all of your dreams to kind of accomplish you have to ask the amunra god the miracle angel the angel of miracles to kind of help you with your life goal because it is easier if um, you expect something out of a divine intervention than simply okay so that is what this angel wants to tell you all guys and yes i hope you got the overall energies guys and yes guys this is all i'm getting here for you guys my lovelies So again, this is the major energy that I'm getting here for you guys, my lovelies, Sagittarius. Okay, with the Imhotep for your love energies, all I can see here is that this is a time you need to take to heal yourself, to come out of this uh, weird energy. If you are facing something weird, if something weird is happening around you, just try to come out of it as soon as possible, guys. And what i can also see here is that you need to look for evidence of compassion and wisdom in everyone you see or even in your partner okay decide now if you want to stay with your present partner based on these qualities okay so just make sure that your person is loving you more they have good character they just would do anything for you i mean stay with a person only who has such characteristics okay
so thank you all so much for watching sagittarius this is all i'm getting so bye guys see you all tomorrow bye